I'm going to show you how to bring 3D models and bring them into the physical world with Blender and the Vive XR Elite's colorful MR pass-through. This feature allows artists, architects, and designers to walk around their 3D work at full scale. For this tutorial, I'm going to assume that you've already connected your Vive XR Elite to PC VR. If you've not done that already, click here to watch a full walkthrough and tutorial on how to do so. Let's dive in! Step one will be to download Vive business streaming software. I will drop a link down below. And once this is done being downloaded, you will run the EXE. It should look something like this. Choose the drive you want to save it to. You can agree to the terms and service and then click install. Once that's finished downloading, you can go to the settings icon here, navigate down to advanced, and you're going to want to flip on beta. Join the beta program. It will prompt you with a response. You say yes, and then we'll let it load and give it a few moments. It's going to be preparing and it will restart the software. Great, now that you're in the beta program, for step number three, we're gonna go to graphics. My favorite graphics setting to use is balanced. You have many different options you can try out here for a approach that works for you. And for sharpening, I tend to turn it down a bit to make sure everything's running smoothly. If you have a PC that can support other options, definitely go for it. After plugging in your headset, you'll go to the about section and we're going to install Vive Business Streaming app. Click this install button here once your headset is plugged in. For step number five, we will download the latest version of Blender as of this video, which is Blender 3.6, and I will leave a link to this in the description. And if you'd like to find previous versions, if it is on a different version by the time you watch this video, you can click previous versions and find the source archives where you'll find a big list of all the different versions of Blender. Next, we will go to Blender 3.6 and launch it. Once it's launched, you can exit out of the little preview and drag your mouse and select the cube in the little camera view and click delete on your keyboard to remove those. Now you'll want to import the model that you plan to use. If you're doing this just as a test, you can use a website like Sketchfab or anywhere else where you might be able to find models. I'm going to import an FBX. You can also just open the blend file if you end up downloading the blend file. You don't have to necessarily import the FBX. Here I have Jinx, a character from League of Legends. I'm going to turn on this little ball over here with the half shade to get the textures. We'll let it load in for a moment so we can see everything in its full beauty. For step number seven, we'll navigate up to edit preferences. In the search bar here, you can type in VR to find 3D view VR scene inspection and make sure you check mark that box. Now that you have that, you can click N to open the side menu here where it shows all the additional add-ons you have, or you can click this little arrow right here. We're going to go down to VR and this is where you're going to be starting your VR session. But first, let's hop back to the headset. Once you've downloaded Vive Business Streaming, like I showed in an earlier step, this is the app you should have downloaded to your headset. Now go ahead and launch this. After you make sure Vive Business Streaming is running on your Vive XR Elite, we can then click Start VR Session over here in the VR tab. A good indicator to know that it's working is that you'll see now playing Blender in the Steam VR tab. Now here is what it will look like once you have MR mode turned on and VR running in Blender. If you're having issues with the MR mode turning on or it's still in Blender when you put the headset on, you can turn off the experimental MR with pass-through and turn it back on. That is what really helped me out. Another thing to keep in mind is that you don't have to use MR mode. As long as you have a headset that's compatible with Blender VR, you can see your model in the 3D scene. Blending the realms between mixed reality and 3D modeling is a great way to visualize your creative work in a real world space. You can utilize this powerful combination with interior design, architecture, product development, or even stand next to one of your favorite characters in the physical world. In fact, drop a comment below on how you're going to use Blender and XR together. And I'll see you in another reality. Bye!